Among the animals that I will be studying for my microhemorrhage project, some will be wild type, but some will have the uh, vanilla Alzheimer's disease mutation. So Alzheimer's disease can be sporadic, uh, which means that uh, various risk factors play a role, environment, and, um, and basically the mechanisms are not uh, really 100% deciphered. But there is a small subpopulation um, that, um, if they have a particular mutations, that unfortunately uh, the risk of getting this disease is very, very high. So um, those people have familial Alzheimer's disease mutations. And there are three genes uh, established at this moment so far, and they include um, amyloid precursor protein and uh, presenilin-1 and presenilin-2 genes. So these mice that I will be studying, they will have the human amyloid precursor protein. Um, um, it can be modified in two different places. So there is the Swedish mutation and the Arctic mutation. And also the two presenilin genes would be mutated in those mice. And this is how we make um, Alzheimer's disease moles, because it's really hard uh, to mole um, this particular pathology in mice, since their uh, own amyloid precursor protein does not yield the uh, pathologic amyloid beta, which is believed to be uh, one of the major contributors to the pathology. That's why those mutations need to be introduced for um, the the animals to actually have the pathology so we can study them and figure out a way how we can treat this disease in humans.